Iowa was supposed to set the tone for the Democratic primary season. Candidates had no choice but to move on to the next stop without knowing who won. Technical issues held up results. The first batch only began trickling out a short while ago. Pete Buttigieg is leading the delegate count so far, with 62% of results reported, followed closely by Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren is in third. Former Vice President Joe Biden, the national frontrunner for much of the campaign, is trailing in fourth place. The results debacle has raised questions about the caucus format and whether Iowa is still relevant in the election race. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jackson Prosco is in Des Moines, where he's been watching the caucus chaos unfold. Jackson. Well, Robin, the strong performance of a couple of candidates suggests that Democrats are nowhere close to being ready to coalesce behind a single candidate. Not surprising at this early juncture. But the bigger priority for the party right now is restoring faith in the integrity of the election after last night's debacle. You guys sound 45 No. 47 now? As the caucuses unfolded... Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> There was little sign of trouble. Iowans shuffled around gymnasiums and living rooms to signal their support for the Democratic candidate of their choice. Especially this year, you have someone you're passionate about and someone you think can beat Trump. And hopefully those two might meld. In 1,600 precincts like this one in West Des Moines, it went off without a hitch. The blue side! until it came time to send the final results to party headquarters using a new smartphone app. It would not let me change that. The system crashed, leaving Democrats unable to deliver statewide results or declare a winner. In the end, like, there are numbers. So where are the freaking numbers? Months of hype in the first in the nation state fizzled over the course of one long night. The candidates were left scrambling to address supporters. When those results are announced, I have a good feeling we're going to be doing very, very well here in Iowa. The debacle killed off candidates' hopes for a rousing victory speech. It may have saved others from embarrassment. And Democrats have already moved their campaigns to New Hampshire, the next primary state, after a historic night in Iowa, which crowned neither winners nor losers. There is no system that is perfect, and we should be reevaluating even before last night occurred, and now for sure. Jackson, President Trump delivers his State of the Union address tonight. That surely takes away the attention from the Democratic candidates as the Iowa results trickle in. It really does, Robin. What it does is it means that candidates like Buttigieg and Sanders lost out potentially on their breakout moment because they didn't get to make a victory speech last night. And now all the attention is going to be focused on Trump tonight and tomorrow it, with the impeachment inquiry, meaning the stakes in New Hampshire one week from tonight are that much higher. Jackson Prosco in Iowa. Thanks, Jackson.